Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. We have breaking news. Breaking news that uh, I found out uh, actually is not breaking news. It's been around for a couple of years. Does somebody just smack me in the forehead? But this was brought to my attention by one of our community, Janice Stahl. So Janice, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention um, because, you know, I am a huge advocate of owning this book. This is the Canning Bible, okay? This is all the tested stuff. So I always say, reference any other canning book that you've got to this book. And for quite a while, see this one here, where is that, Lisa? Right there. It says it's the 200, uh, 2015 printing, right? And all of a sudden they came out with these 2020 printing. And uh, I'm flipping through it. I'm like, yeah, it looks like the same book to me. Okay, well, I didn't go through it with a microscope. And apparently you need to do so. Um, so Janice wrote me an email and she says, uh, I need your help uh, understanding the headspace for pressure canning chicken, whether it's hot packed or raw packed. She's new at this. So every video that she's watched says that the headspace should be for one inch for chicken. But when she went to the website, it said an inch and a quarter. And I went, what? So, and she sent me a screenshot, but still I went right to the website and I looked it up and it says an inch and a quarter. What? <laughs> okay. So uh, I've been canning chicken forever. You guys, you know, I love my ugly chicken. So um, I sent an email and I said, can somebody please explain to me why, why um, the headspace has changed? Uh, this is kind of a new thing. And they wrote me back today. I've been waiting for it just for you guys, right? And it said, hi, Lisa. Hi. Um, headspace was changed to allow for temporary expansion and boiling during pressure canning. It was discovered that there was more expansion in chicken, so an adjustment was made. Mm-hmm. And then, because I also reached out to my friend uh, Linda over at Tulilu, and because she's a master canner and she has access to stuff that I don't, and I said, "Hey, uh, did you realize that?" She didn't realize it either. Um, so she sent the same email that I did to the same place. But then she also reached out to her local area, where it's really cool when you have an extension office in your state uh, that is into food preservation and master canning, then they used to have these monthly meetings pre-COVID, which they haven't brought back yet, but they still have this network that you can reach out to. And well, come to find out, you guys, that headspace has been changed for almost two years. <laughs> say, say what? Okay. So I immediately came home and went, okay, looked again in my 2015 book, right? Because I told you guys, I said, it's the same information, you know, don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so I picked up the 2020. I've got like three of these candy books. Anyway, so I picked up the 2020 print and I found it in there. And what do you know? An inch and a quarter headspace. So for the most part, like she says, it's, it's because they discovered that the headspace was no longer adequate for the chicken breasts that we are now able to get our hands on today. I call them Franken boobs, okay? Seriously, because you know they're chicken breasts that are just the size of your head, um, can feed a small family for just half, you know, for one breast. And um, apparently, these are much juicier the way that they're processing them, raising them, whatever. Um, and so this causes siphoning. Yep. So when you're, you know, and I've explained it before, when you're when you're canning, when you're pressure canning. Um, part of the why you're only putting those rings on finger tight is because the process um, has to have you vacate the excess air out of the jar. That's it comes out, okay? And apparently, with these super boobs, um, they are they are you know cooking down. Obviously, the chicken cooks while it's pressure canning, um, and when they're cooking down, it's creating the natural juices from the chicken, which I think is just phenomenal. Okay. But because of the size of these things, <laughs> okay, the one inch headspace, they do not feel as adequate anymore. And it was causing siphoning and, you know, overspelling from it. So they changed the headspace to an inch and a quarter. So moving forward, when we do ugly chicken, we'll be doing an inch and a quarter. And we will talk about where that's at on the jar. Um, because most any tools that we have, everybody knows what an inch headspace is and it shows it on some of the tools that you can buy, but nothing shows an inch and a quarter, I think. If I'm wrong, let me know what it is down below. Um, but moving forward, it's an inch and a quarter. Now, this is only for, uh, let me find it, okay? It's only for chicken or rabbit. Now, I don't know why, you know, other than it's just that they've always had those two lumped together, um, but for chicken or rabbit. I went looking and this does not include beef, 
This does not include pork. This, it's only chicken or chicken and rabbit, okay? Which is kind of the same, only different. One's fuzzy, one's feathery. Um, and <laughs> so we all need to make some adjustments in our book. I will be changing out my link to be the 2020 book versus the 2015 book. There's not a lot different, apparently. Um, and so even when you get this book, it's a good thing to go look at the website to see what they have updated because it's possible that they have updated something since then. I am going to make an effort to go through this book, compare it to what's in the website, so that you can see what's happening. Now, if you remember during one of the canning chats, um, somebody pointed out a discrepancy, uh, something with tomatoes, where it was a misprint, and they actually had, for the tables, they actually had a third table that made no sense at all. And it was it was a printing error, okay? So, we you know, we brought that to everyone's attention. But we're going, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig hard. I'm going to dig hard into this book. It's probably going to take me the entire month of October, but I'm going to dig hard into it and see what else has changed, if anything. But I wanted to make sure that you guys know, breaking news, ugly chicken update. Yes, you now need to can your ugly chicken for the same amount of time, but a different headspace. Instead of an inch, it's an inch and a quarter. I'm telling you. And that's whether it's hot packed or raw packed. Either way, it doesn't matter. And I can see, especially if it's um, hot packed, that I actually, I can't. Let me think here. Because you're par cooking the chicken, so most of the juice would already come out. But they changed the whole kit and caboodle, you guys. So grab your books. Grab your notes. Grab your pen. Mark it up. Make, make it, you know, stick in your head. An inch and a quarter headspace. Who knew? So... Thank you very much to the USDA um, and the uh, National Institute of Food and Ag Agriculture and the National Center for Home Food Preservation for keeping us on our toes um, and letting us know. It's kind of, it's hard. I can't imagine of a, you know, a way they should start a newsletter. They should do a lot of things. Did I mention they don't have enough funding? Yep. Okay. We will tackle that in the month of October also. So, you guys. You don't need a new book. If you have the 2015, keep the 2015. Just change your information. Just write it up. If you haven't gotten a book yet, I will put a link to the 2020 print down below so that you can get that one instead. No need to replace the one that you have. There's really, I mean, you know, we'll find them. We will find the differences. Yes, we will. So remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, be safe.